day one is down. I am so excited about how it is looking. Can you see it? Okay, I finally got like a clear uh, window of weather. I think I'm gonna paint today, but I got all the stuff. I got my paint and I got my stuff to thin it with. And I got this stuff, but I don't know, I'm not really sure how to do the ratios of all of these. Cause this says, what does it say? Add one container to one gallon of paint and mix well. We have eight hours after the hardener has been added. Okay, so maybe I should just mix like a quarter of this with a quarter of this. I'm gonna try that I think. Gonna have to buy new measuring cups after this, I think. One cup, two cups. Quarter cup. This stuff costs twenty dollars. Okay. Now I guess I'll just like mix it together with the thinner just like I did with the primer. I'll try it. This stuff's supposed to make it like dry faster and end up like harder and stronger I guess. It's from a tractor store. So we'll see. Let's try this. Let's do it. I actually forgot how to put the gun back together. I don't think I did it right. Is it just me or is this gonna look awesome? Okay, looking pretty drippy. I don't know if that's because I'm spraying too close or I wonder if I might have uh, thinned it a little too aggressively, but I'm just gonna keep going. I'm starting to get a little bit worried about how quickly I'm using this compared to how quickly I was using the primer. I've already used up a quarter of what I have and I've only done the first coat of not even half of the bus. So... Yeah. It's looking a lot less runny up here where I was holding it further back, so that's good. I'm finding it incredibly hard to care if paint gets on the tires. Day one is down. I am so excited about how it is looking. It looks really cute. So I'm, I figure this should take me four days in total. Two days for the bottom color and then two days for the top color. Although I might have to add on a couple more days for that because I definitely am gonna need more paint. And luckily I'm going to Idaho for Memorial Day this weekend anyway, so I can grab it while I'm there. But that'll add a little bit more time. That's okay. Little update. I put on like a partial second coat, ran totally out of paint, got some more a couple days ago while I was in Idaho. Um, but I'm kind of glad that happened because it kind of forced me to slow down. I was, I wanted to just do it like four days right in a row, get it done. And it's good that I couldn't do that because I think I needed to let it dry more. It was really soft when I first finished it and now it's like a lot harder. And I also, of course, obviously again, did a bad job, did it too fast, did it too close. So there's like a lot of spots where it's like dripping and stuff. So before I before I do anything else, I want to like maybe try sanding down those spots before I put on the final coat. And I want to also 
thank you figure out a way to like so like these things here i don't know how to keep them from doing this but i'll paint and then i'll put it back down and it creates this like really big messy spot and it's even worse when the lights are bigger on the front but i don't know how to i'm gonna have to figure out how to rig those up or something so yeah i'm gonna sand a little bit fix everything i messed up and take it a little bit slower <laughs> And I know that I say this every time, but I'm gonna start doing things right now, maybe. <laughs> I am really happy with the color. I'm overall really happy with how it looks. Let me show you how it looks. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it slowly with the paint from here on out, work on some other stuff in the meantime, and hopefully move the bus back to the back where it was before soon because I feel so awkward when I'm just like talking to my camera and people are walking by in the street. <laughs> okay, that is all. <laughs>